In this guide, I'll show you how to fix the error where it says Epic Games Launcher Setup Wizard ended prematurely. Now, this is a very straightforward one. There's just a couple of steps you'll need to take. So the very first thing we're going to do is head over to our start menu and you need to search for task manager and then head over to the task manager window. Inside of here, we just need to close down any references of Epic Games. So as you can see, I have the Epic Games launcher here and we're just going to right click this and select end task. And you can even use this search box at the top here just to search for Epic and just make sure you don't have any references of the Epic Games running on your computer. We can then close out of the task manager window and you need to head over to your file explorer and from here come over to your c drive in the left hand side inside of the c drive come down to program files x86 and click this folder and inside of here you should see the epic games folder and we're just going to right click on this and select the trash icon and as long as this is not running in the background you should be able to delete this successfully so once you've deleted the epic games folder from here you'll then need to press the back arrow to come back one window and we're now going to come inside of program files without the x86 and once again we're going to Right click on this epic games folder inside of here and we're going to press the trash icon to delete it and once again give this a few seconds to delete so once you've successfully deleted these two folders we can then close out of this window and you'll need to head over to an internet browser and you'll need to come over to this website store.epicgames.com backslash download and you'll need to re-download the epic games launcher so if i just click this download button here and we can then open the installer file and once you launch the installer, you'll have these two options here and we just need to select remove from the bottom, click on remove, and now give this a few seconds to complete. And once that's done, we can then hit finish. And then what you'll need to do is relaunch the installer. And this time we're going to click on repair and then just click this repair button here. And once that's completed, if I now double click on the Epic Games launcher, you can now see that that's fixed the issue and the error message has now been removed. Now, if this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.